Hey folks, it's Tom, your Frugal Prepper. My favorite subscriber, Mark Fox, sent me another box of tools. So I'm going to get this opened up and we'll see what's inside of it and I'll kind of show you everything. Thanks so much, Mark. I just uh, can't thank you enough and I'm going to make sure whatever's in here that I put it to good use. Uh, he said he was going to send this to me. And I got your, your email message with the tracking number, Mark, but work has been insane busy uh, I just I haven't had time to respond to anybody about anything I just got done working and haven't even got the change yet or anything all right so we got the box so we got Grime off heavy duty degreasing wipes. All appliances, grills, all equipment, tools. I'm gonna have to give that. I, I, it says it's uh, mean green tough wipes, and um, I actually like have like I buy mean green by the gallon. I use it when I wash my uh, shop towels and stuff in the washing machine. And whenever I'm cleaning interior on cars, it works great. These are awesome. These would be awesome for like uh, cleaning interior on cars, I'm sure. In the green, there's a bunch of them in here. <laughs> I am set. Look at this. Crazy. Wow. Here's an impact driver. This looks a lot nicer than my cheap Taiwanese one. This almost looks like the Lyle one. Or the Craftsman one, which I think is the Lyle one. Yeah, this is the Craftsman one. I was looking at one of these at Sears today, honestly. And this is actually made by Lyle, is what I found out. And it's got the all the bits with it. This is a much nicer than my old cheap Chinese one that I got from somewhere. I can definitely use this. This is so nice when you have to get uh, the screws out rotors on Hondas and stuff. Thank you very much. This is like a $30 tool at Sears. I know um, some people have been getting some better deals on them, but that's still a nice tool. Um, wow, another ratchet? This is a Carlisle ratchet. Holy crap. This is like, you know, I know some people think Snap-on's the good stuff, but to me, things like Carlisle, even gear wrench, that's the good stuff. Oh, that's nice. It's a flex head. I gotta take this out and play with it. Let me get some side cuts. Cool. This thing has a really thin little head on it. Now I'm gonna have to start using quarter inch sockets more now, man. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've never been a huge quarter inch user, but I got some nice quarter inch ratchets. Quarter inch is usually good for most things. Look how tiny the little head is on that, man. Look like there's my thumb, and there's the head of this ratchet. And it's a real thin profile. It's got nice teeth. It's not as fine as the gear wrench one. It's fine enough. I love the recessed push button. I really, that push button's nice. I really love push button ratchets. But in quarter inch, it's not as big of a deal as it is in 3 8. It's like, snap on ratchets work nice, but I don't like them because. Uh, you know, my friend who's a mechanic has some, and when I use them, it's like, I need to change sockets. And you're like, and why? You gotta, like, get a pair of pliers, and like, you know, because it, they snap on, but they don't like to snap off on snap-on. This is nice. Oh, it's the, oh, this locks, doesn't it? Oh, check that out. It's got a little button right there, man. It lo it's a locking flex head. Wow. Thank you so much. Let's see. Bergen 
sockets. Quarter inch drive. I've never heard of Bergen. It sounds like it's a good name. It sounds German. Or something. I gotta open these up and look at them. Here. Now it doesn't say where it's made on here. Oh yeah, look at that's uh it's got the nice little grooves in the socket right there. Those are nice because uh when you're trying to like get that bolt loose that's kind of turning both ways, you can reach down in there and give it a little turn right there. Some grip on it. It's got the little chamfered edges on it. This are a nice socket. If you look down inside, let me get a bigger one. You can see where it's got some little light lines down inside of it for extra gripping power. Kind of like uh, whatever that snap-on plus thing is or whatever. Those are nice. I gotta do some research on Bergen. Those are some nice sockets. That's way better than my cheapy Harbor Freight quarter inch stuff that I have now. Ooh, more sockets. Oh wow, these are gear wrench. Check that out. Oh, what are these? Let's see. Oh, there's one down in here. One came out in the box. These are metrics too. These are really nice gear wrench sockets. Now I've got all kinds of quarter inch drive sockets. These go all the way up to 15. This set goes to 14. A lot of quarter inch drive sets only go to 14. It's so nice I want a 15 and this goes all the way down to a 4. So cool. Oh, that's one of those uh, Cobalt Zero Turn ratchets. I've seen some guys talking about these. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can just move it every, a tiny little bit and it grabs. It's like got no resistance one direction and it grabs the other. And then this is the spline drive sockets. I've never messed with spline drive too much except on my um, Easy Red wrenches. But I've never really had any problems with it. I know some guys really love it and some hate it. I gotta play with that. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. These are ratcheting wrenches what kind are these? oh these are cobalts wow so you know it's the kind that you gotta flip which is okay these come in really handy in situations where you need to get straight on a fastener like the bent one is leaning too far out and it's almost like that zero drive or something. It's like got no ratcheting mechanism. It's like a zero drive wrench. Oh, I can't wait to try these out on some stuff. These are pretty sweet. It looked like a really nice, well-made wrench. I like that they got the arrow on it right there to tell you what direction. And it tells you the Titan direction. So that way you can always tell, because you know I always put this on like oh wrong way. I'll take it back off with rubber. <laughs> That'll help me to to know exactly which way. Mark Fox, thank you very very much. Um, I just can't thank you enough. It's awesome. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I'm kind of getting all these tools, and this is like nice stuff. And 
I'll put it to good use and try to fix stuff for people and help them out with reasonable car repairs and the stuff that, you know, if I don't use any of this or if I, you know, my old stuff that I replace with this, I'll make sure it goes to a good home to somebody that could really use it to save themselves money. I know, like, a lot of people I help out with car repairs, you know, they just, you know, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck. And, you know, it's kind of like a rich get richer and the poor get poorer thing. And it's like they can't even afford to get tools to try to fix their own stuff. And sometimes they're just driving around with cars that are really broken to the point of being even unsafe. And it's like, you know, bring bring that thing over here. And this, you know, I... I you can't afford rotors and stuff, but let's at least pad slap it so it's not grinding metal to metal. You know, you're driving around with your kids in that thing or whatever, you know. So I do try to help out people when I can. And, you know, I like I like it. I enjoy it. Um, you know, I was telling Mark in an email that, you know, I work as a network engineer. And uh, my job... A lot of times it's sitting at a desk, but it can also be physically demanding when projects are going on. If you're moving equipment that might weigh a couple hundred, some of it sometimes probably easily 250, 300 pounds, and, and working with getting it in and out of racks and standing on your feet all day, so um, and, and walking back and forth. So it can be physically demanding, but then in between projects, it kind of settles down and you're mostly desk work, but it's definitely stressful and. Um, I spend a lot of my day trying to figure out how to fix things that nobody's been able to fix or nobody kind of knows how to fix and, you know, beating my head against the wall. And sometimes these the problems I work on take months to fix. And while I, I enjoy my work, I love it, um, it's nice to be able to do something mechanical, right? It's nice to be like, I'm going to take out that radiator and put in a new radiator. Or I'm going to do those brakes. And know that at the end of the day, I was able to fix the problem from start to finish. It's nice to see something finished once in a while. I find it really relaxing. Um, so, I really enjoy working on cars. And so, you know, when the weather permits, you know, I'm not one to be out in my driveway in the snow and ice. But when the weather permits and time permits, I a lot of times do work really cheap for people. Or sometimes free. Um... You know, sometimes doing it for free, you have to be careful because people will kind of come to expect it and then they'll kind of take advantage of that. Um, you know, and you'll even, you know, you have to be careful about the person because some people will complain like, oh, you worked on my brakes and now my radio doesn't work. You know, I've, I've dealt with that too. But most people are really thankful and happy to have the help. Um, and, you know, it's not taken work away from local garages because the truth is is a lot of times I'm, I'm dealing with issues that are like safety issues that need fixed and they can't afford to fix them so they would be driving it unsafe with their family or not fixing it and not fixing it or you know they can't afford to go to a shop so um that's all I got in this video I'll put this up thank you very much Mark Fox I'll try to make this you know go to good use and um now i guess i have to decide gear wrench or bergen um i don't know decisions decisions i think there's more sizes on the gear wrench set maybe yeah this goes down to four but this one goes to a 15. i really like the gear wrench but those Bergens look like a really well-made socket. Maybe they just both deserve a spot in my toolbox. And I'll use them for a while. <laughs> so, Alright. Thanks, folks. I'll talk to you later. This is Tom, your frugal prepper. Be happy. Be frugal out there. Go see Mark. Go, go to his channel. Hit, watch his video or two. Smash the like button. Uh, give him a sub. And uh, tell him I said thanks. And... Uh, that's all. I'll talk to you later.